I am calling J.D. Bow I know I'm mistaken. How may I help you? Yes, how are you doing, sir? Let's say the consumer goes to buy a car. My vehicle's uh, broke down. Okay. The 99 Ford Explorer and a 95 Cadillac DeVille. We can take both of those straight ends you got right now if you want. So it's time for them to sign the paperwork. They're told, don't worry about this. It's all standard. Arbitration is a big word. It's a word most people don't understand. The arbitration clause is usually buried in a contract. I've seen them in car contracts, credit card contracts, cell phone contracts. I mean, if they would put in the contract, you are agreeing to waive a constitutional right, well, that may get people's attention, but they don't say that. We went to JD Byrider and looked at some vehicles and they were really the only place that we knew of that would take two trade-ins. They had two cars that were not functioning very well and Mr. Martin Bowen's father was dying. My husband was about to be deployed for the fourth time. We didn't, he didn't want to leave me and the kids here with no vehicle. So I saw a commercial. How am I going to get a good car? J.D. Byrider sold them a car, but they put all sorts of conditions on the sale. They gave us a list of stuff that kind of seemed unrealistic for a week. Like, I think we needed 12 uh, references apiece, and they couldn't be the same people. The conditions that they put on, while seemingly not difficult, took time. They are purchasing a 2002 New York Century. They leave and something goes wrong. I felt like there was communication in the beginning. Six weeks later, we come out about 8.30 in the morning and our car was gone. At first, I was upset thinking it was stolen. My husband right away decides he's gonna call JD Byrider. Hello? Yes, sir. The reason why y'all won't be getting the vehicle back because several attempts were made to collect the documents. What? Yes. Why why is that? Because the they had informed us that they had repossessed the car. And because they didn't think the Martin Bowens were responding to them the way they should have, they determined that the Martin Bowens were a bad credit risk and they'd said, too bad for you. We're taking it. Tell me how you gonna help my wife and I to get our vehicle back. How are y'all gonna help us? What about the vehicles we traded in? Uh, you guys get those too? No, nah, I, I don't believe you're going to get any of those back uh, on the paperwork itself. It says that uh, well, we, we all down payments the and or... The, um... I, felt, I felt robbed and betrayed. We tried to file suit. In fact, we did file suit. And the first thing we got was the demand for arbitration. I have never, never met a client who's understood what the word arbitration clause meant. I can't remember word for word, but when we went in the room to finish our closing part of the car deal, we had to watch a video. JD Byrider dealerships utilize alternative dispute resolution provisions, sometimes called arbitration agreements. When we got to the arbitration part, to where they said this was just to save us from attorney's fees, Jay explained to us that we had actually signed our right away to a jury trial. I was the arbitrator in the Martin Bowen case. I was the person who heard the case, decided the case, and uh, what do you want to know about it? Because I've never had to before in any state. Had you ever bought a car from JD Byrider before? No. It felt like the arbitrator didn't care. So even though you didn't it worked out again, for the car dealer, not the consumer. He signed the driver, right? Yes. We signed a lot of paperwork that so, night, yes. So then you did agree that night to get the general driver's license. I agree, yes. The arbitrator determined that the Martin Bowens were entitled to their down payment and their trades back, which amounted to about $3,500. It's possible 
they might have recovered more money in front of a jury because the jury would have responded more to the, their emotional reaction to what happened. Which is why corporations love arbitration. I, I hate to admit this, I probably shouldn't admit it publicly. I thought what happened wasn't really, at the end of the day, really fair. But if you sign the contract, you're bound by it. Caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware.